Welcome back to the Escape Pod. Thank you for escaping with us. That's Alex. I'm Andrew. And as always, with great power comes great it's a me ability. Yahoo! We're talking about Super Mario. Super Mario just came out. Yep. Uh I friggin' They sent me hats. Loved it. Yes, they sent they sent us hats. They sent him hats. He's much more famous than me. I'm Mario, you're Luigi. What'd you think? I loved it. It's not only my I saw Air this year, I saw Dungeons and Dragons. I've seen a couple good movies this year. It's clearly my favorite movie this year. It might be my favorite movie last year. That is, uh, it's given a li- given it a little bit too much credit, I think, in my opinion. It is a good movie. There's anyone who says it's bad is being. I Out think of re- ten, uh, I'd give it like an eight. Yeah, that's what I would give it. But yeah. I loved it. Yeah, but I'd give Dungeons and Dragons an eight point five easy. I give Dungeons and Dragons an eight, but I give like I enjoyed Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, 15 and I enjoyed Super Mario a 200. Wow. I loved it. I just Did you uh, grow up with Mario or video I, games? Yeah, or I played the video games, but like, I, like I didn't. very little. I just it wasn't like they just did everything I wanted them to and I was laughing the whole time the star in oh, the yeah, dungeon. Oh, definitely the funniest part. Oh my gosh, it was like the Jiminy Cricket joke of Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of Puss and Boots, it's like so brilliant. That that was the one thing that I consistently laughed at. I I, I think Dungeons and Dragons is funnier. I I, yeah. I just, but yeah, it's good. It's good. Go see it. It's a great movie. It's fun. Go see the Super Mario. Did, it movie. didn't absolutely blow me away, but I liked it. Have you heard about the numbers? Oh, it's crushing. It's crushing. because I'm a genius. Yeah, no, it was a good call. Hey, you I said it was going to be that. the highest grossing movie of this year. It looked like it might be. I also thought it would be, but I just didn't get that. So uh, what are we what are we doing? Trivia, baby. We're trivia. starting it off hot, and we're talking. Can I take about, his hat off? Yeah, you're good. And okay. we've kind of finished the bit. All right, so trivia. Mm-hmm. You're doing trivia to me about what? I am. We're doing super. Uh, we're just so we're talking about Super Mario. I like Bros. this hat on you. Why? The green's doing it for me. It, it compliments you, and Thank you. I think it's just really good that there's just a big L on your head. It make it just like the synergy there. It makes sense to me. There's multiple meanings there, I think. Button. <clears throat> the Last Jedi is a good movie. Woo! I'm clipping that everywhere. Just so everyone knows, when I press the button, he has to say Deathly Hallows Part 2 is a terrible movie. And uh, when he says, when he presses it, I have to say The Last Jedi is a good movie. Terrible. All right, let's get into this trivia, all right? So, I shall share the punishment with everybody. If you get... Less than a seven score out you of ten. You haven't even said what we're doing. Oh, I haven't? I don't think so. What am I doing? Oh, what are you doing? Shit. What are you doing to me? We're, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not usually in charge. <laughs> <laughs> we're, doing, we're doing trivia. We're talking about Super Mario Bros. the movie, so we're doing trivia. We're doing video game, general video game trivia. Okay, real quick. You understand I've played like two video games my entire life? Really? Yeah, but I knew all of these. Okay. So I, I think you should be okay. Okay, okay. okay, um, okay. I, I don't play video games either. Mm-hmm. But so so you we're just doing, play with my heart. We're doing There's general. There's a bug in here. Did you let a bug in here? I guess so. It's probably my cousin, Ernesto. You have a cousin that's a bug named Ernesto? Uh, yes. You ready? Yep. <laughs> okay, so, oh, I haven't talked about the punishment. Yes. I'm all I'm all out of sorts here. I'm a little rusty. We haven't done this in three if weeks. If I get seven out of ten, I get to kill your cousin Ernesto. Oh no, <laughs> Ernesto! Um, uh, uh, so if you get seven out of ten of these right, or more, or if you get six out of ten or worse, okay, then you will be screwed because you will have to be at a piano and play the Peaches song. From the new Super Mario movie. Right. But Jack Black. if you get seven or more, I will have to do that. Okay. And we will film it. Okay. Let's okay. do it. All right. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm going to name three characters. Yep. One of them is not in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Okay. Ultimate. Is that the newest one? The newest one. Oh, there's so many in there. <laughs> there's like 40 or 50. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's go. Young Link. Okay. Toon Link. Frick. Blue Link. Okay. I know Young Link and Toon Link. I've played as both of them before. I've never heard of Blue Link. So I don't know if that means... 
I, I okay. Blue Link. Correct. Oh yeah. Okay. Good. 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 What I'm, color? I'm, a, I'm a pretty um, established Smash player. When we play, it's not particularly close. That's correct. It's not particularly close <laughs> because you always crush me. I kill him. Yeah. I'm a professional. Not actually. That is also not true. What color mm-hmm. is the start button on a standard N64 controller? Green. Wrong. Frick. Red. You are one and one. Darn it. Which Grand Theft Auto game was released in 2013? Five. Correct. All right. You are two and one. Okay, this is kind of a harder one. Marcus Peterson, creator, founder, CEO of games, uh, uh, excuse me, Minecraft. Ah, sold, I've heard of that game. Sold the rights I've heard it's to popular. which company in 2014? Microsoft. Correct. <laughs> I didn't know that. What? Yes. All right. I do watch people play video games, so maybe I'll know some stuff. Oh, excellent. You know how lame you have to be to w- w- <laughs> so, to have someone stream themselves speed running Minecraft, and I'm so obsessed with that that I go back and watch the VODs of his live stream of him speed running Minecraft. Wow. You're a loser. I, yeah. Uh, maybe okay. I should wear the L hat. I'm going to name five Pokemon. I'm screwed. And you have to tell me which one isn't a real Pokemon. Okay. All right. All right. I'm screwed, but all right, let's go. Raichu. Okay. Real. Sylveon. I think that's real. Leafeon. Oh, no. Okay. Arcavius. Oh, frick. Durant. And Pikachu. I think one of the uh, eons is made up. Okay. I'm going to go with um, option two. Okay. Sil- Sylveon. Sylveon. You're wrong. Sylveon and Leafeon are both evolutions. It was Arcavius. Ah, frick. <laughs> so you're a three and two. Which video game series features the Master Chief? Yeah, that's a Halo. Correct. Which, all right, so you're four and two. Yep. I'm in trouble. I got to get harder here. Which skateboarder has a video game Tony series? Hawk. Okay. Knew that one. In Super Mario Kart. Yep. Super Mario Kart. Yep, yep, Kart yep. Mario Kart. Mario Kart. Yep. I don't know why it's called Super Mario Kart <laughs> on here. In Mario Kart. Yeah, yeah. There are turtle shells. Yep. There are three primary ones. Yep. I need you to tell me the color Mm -hmm. and what they do. And what they do. Okay. Green, you throw. It doesn't track anybody. It can knock people over, though. Red, it tracks the person that's right in front of you or behind you if you throw it behind you. So it it targets someone, and then blue hits the person at first. Okay. Very good. I have to miss the next two. Oh, I'm in big trouble. All right. I'm pulling out all the stops here. You're going to, like, give me some. These are easy questions. I can't. I'm, I'm... Taking it away. I'm coming up with questions. What? Uh, oh, this is a good one. Is Indiana Jones a playable character in Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga? Yes. <laughs> is that seven? Yeah. All right. We don't need to do the last one. You've won. You've dominated the video game trivia. And now I must sing Peaches. Peach. Cut to that. This rendition of Peaches is for, is dedicated to Flashbob997. Peach, you're so cool! And with my style! Hey, I'm Andrew, I'm editing this right now. Um, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. Um, there's like another minute of this, so um i'm having to watch it and listen to it i'm editing this right now so um we're in this together um so just buckle up and we can get through this as a community and move forward i always considered myself to be the worst singer in the world i now realize i need to share that title with another human i also just want to suggest that maybe our first line of merchandise should be some sort of earplugs or headphones, noise-canceling headphones, so that just in case this ever happens again, uh, you guys will be prepared. But um, 
you know, I just wanted to say sorry. Here's the rest. We're gonna rule. Peach, understand. I'm gonna love you till the very end. Peaches, 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 I love you. Peaches, 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 I love you, oh, oh, Mario, Luigi, and Donkey Kong, too, a thousand troops, Koopas, couldn't keep me from you, Princess Peach, at the end of the line, I make you mine, oh, Peaches, 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 all right. Well, we got a uh, fan segment now. Yeah. This is kind of a fan episode. Dude, it's a mega fan episode. Yeah. Let me tell you. This is the biggest fan segment that we've ever done. We have uh, approximately like 5,000 kabillion questions in here. And that's not a number. It's not? Uh -uh. 5,000. Kabillion. Kabillion. Yeah, yeah. Finn McMissile, British intelligence. Toe Mater, average intelligence. Button. Deathly Hallows Part 2 is not good. Unbelievable that I had to say that. All right, you ready? Let's just start banging through. Deathly Hallows Part 2 is excellent. These are all, all right. questions from you guys. Here we go. Yes. What's yeah. your favorite ride at Disneyland? Uh, mine is the Guardians ride. Land? Disneyland, yeah. Oh, shit. then uh, the Incredicoaster. That is my second. It also says, question for Alex, if you had to choose between a giraffe or a horse, who are you picking? Oh, that's an impossible question. I, uh... I am a giraffe, but I think I prefer horses. Yep. Uh, heroes or villains? At least they're porn. Certainly. Horses or <laughs> heroes or villains not yet in the MCU or DCU that you want to see on screen? Um, Nightcrawler. We've answered that before. Nightcrawler, for sure, for the MCU. Doctor Doom. DCU. Yeah, Doctor Doom's a big one. And then uh, MCU, I mean DCU. I mean, give me mm. Plastic Man with James Gunn. Mm -hmm. Like, give me some weird, give me Egghead. Mm -hmm. Give me, like, weird ones. Mr. Mixelplick. Oh. Like you, like you were saying. Yes, Mr. Mixelplick is there, the number are one. Are there any MCU characters that you think they shouldn't kill them off? No, kill them all. Kill them. <laughs> kill them all. Well, let me tell you, I was I was shocked when they killed Claw in Black Panther. Yeah, I couldn't they should believe that. that. How is Revenge of the Sith not a top three Star Wars movie? Because it's bad. Mm, I want to press the button again. All right, this is a bunch real quick. Who is the top uh, three top most iconic supervillains? Uh, Joker, Voldemort, Darth Vader. It doesn't say MCU specifically, so yeah. I'm going to go with those three. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on the Batman 2? Looks cool. Clayface, potentially? Yeah. Um, yeah. Is Jerome season two, three, or four the best? I don't remember. Goth the one that doesn't have a face. The one that cut off his face and staples it back is the best. I think they're all good. Yeah. Why does Andrew hate Thor Ragnarok? Because the comedy is terrible. It doesn't land, and they might take every serious moment in the movie and try to make it a joke. How wrong is that? For Alex, if you could never watch horse porn again or never wear a Marlins hat again, what would you choose? <laughs> Normally, he's doing both at the same time. Certainly. <laughs> Uh, I'm sticking with the Marlins hats. Yeah, bye okay. bye horse porn. Here's a wacky one. If a horse had eyes for a mouth and your grandpa ate Flintstone vitamins, how old is the average penguin? Probably 16. <laughs> Favorite Spider-Man villain? Green Goblin. Yeah. But Doc Ock is pretty cool too. There's a lot of good ones. Favorite place to visit? Alex's dreams. Ooh. Andrew's dreams. Ooh. <laughs> Why is Guardians 2 your least favorite uh, Marvel movie? I think it's amazing. Uh, it's not amazing. It's bad. It's, it's kind bad. of the same reasons that he, he hates. Yep. Same Ragnarok. Guy. It's just the comedy lands in Ragnarok. It doesn't land in Guardians 2. Yep. And I, Baby Groot is like the worst example of like Baby Yoda, like things that they make cute that they shove down your throat for money. I thought it was so annoying. I don't agree with that last little bit, but yeah. Who would win in a fight? A combination of all Adam Sandler's movie characters put into one body are Doctor Strange. I haven't the clicker. 
Yeah, but does he have it? Yeah. It doesn't say he has any uh, weapons. But, uh, if he has the clicker, Adam Sandler. If not, Doctor Strange. I don't know. Happy Gilmore. What is he going to do? Play golf? Golf him to death? Yeah. He no. could hit a mean ball. He could kill somebody by hitting somebody with that. Doctor Strange can also just... That's true. <laughs> What's your favorite Netflix series apart from Stranger Things? Uh, my number one is Haunting of Hill House. I also really like Space Force. Peaky Blinders. Oh, Peaky Blinders is up there for me. What are your guys' thoughts uh, over the X-Men movies, and which one of them, including the Wolverines, are your favorites? Logan, if it counts. That's the only one that stood out to me. Logan has to count if it counts as... What? Only one that's... What about First Class? They all run together to me. What about Days of Future Past? They, here's, I'm going to say it one more time. They all run together to me. What about X2? You love Nightcrawler. The Nightcrawler scene in X2 is I amazing. I need to watch them all again. I watched them when I was really young, and they were all, we were kind of like watching back to back. The first one isn't great. The second one is amazing. The third one's bad. And then, obvious, and then it's I a saw mess this on Twitter that. real quick. Do you think the top four best Fox X Men movies beat the top four best MCU movies? Because you're starting with Fox on the Fox side with Logan and Deadpool, and then just fill in your top two favorite X Men movies after that. But with MCU, you get, let's say, Endgame or Infinity War, the first Avengers, Winter Soldier, Guardians, something like that. What is your top four? Because my top four is Infinity War, mm -hmm. um, uh, No Way Home, Civil War, and Ragnarok. And yeah. I don't know if that group beats Logan and Deadpool and I think Days it of does. Future Past and First Class. I think it does. Yeah, it probably does. Barely. But that's great. Barely. That's Barely. a great question. Because, because Logan... The top of Fox is cream of the crop. Logan and Deadpool could beat out, uh, beats out most of the MCU. Yeah, my top two. Logan and Deadpool is better than Infinity War and uh, no Civil Home. War. Mm. Yeah. My top four would probably be the first Avengers, Infinity War, No Way Home, and Winter Soldier. Yeah. Wow, so similar, because Winter Soldier is my five. See, we agree sometimes. Give me some. Oh, we need oh, to clink. clink. The, is, is something that they don't know about. It's true. Sorry, just, we just, you we just got to peek into we the We might have to life. blur it. What are your thoughts on TikTok maybe being banned, considering it's a big part of your life and success? Eh. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think it will be. And if it does, then... The pot is screwed. Yeah. <laughs> the pot is screwed. What was the surprise Arby's gave you? What is something people might not know about you that you would like them to know? Oh, that's a great question. I speak fluent Spanish. Two... I was gonna try. I wanted to say me too in Spanish. I couldn't figure out how to do it. Yo también. Yo también. There you go. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Everyone knows everything about me. I'm an open book, baby. Star Wars or Marvel? Star Wars. Marvel. Coke or Pepsi or water? Water. water. Oh, nice. Good pick. Most overrated movie villain? That's tough. That is tough. Oh, Charles Muntz. Screw you. Screw my boss! <laughs> Charles boss! Screw you. Keep going. Would you rather be friends with Mater from Cars or Dory from Nemo? Mater from Cars. Mater from Cars. That idiot doesn't know her last name. Okay, well, that's a little rude. She's a nice person. She's also a lesbian. The fish or the voice? The voice. Maybe the fish, too. We don't know. Who are your favorite, second favorite, and most hated clone troopers? I don't know. Rex is my favorite. Rex is cool. Echo's up there. Fives is up there. Everybody hate, hates Fox, and rightfully so. He's a dick, but his armor is too cool to be my least favorite. But I guess he's my least favorite. What's the strongest animal y'all could realistically take in a fight? I could take some of the stronger, like, warthog kind of things, like hogs. Mm hmm because they're little. Like, I feel like I could just, yeah. I have range with my feet. I don't have much confidence in myself. I'm taking a hermit crab. Oh, good for you. Yeah. Here's a wacky question. If a fly loses its wings, is it now called a walk? No, it's called a crawl. <laughs> of every Marvel show, Netflix and Disney Plus, what is the best and what is the worst? Disney Plus show? And Netflix. So the best is Daredevil. Okay. Oh, okay. The worst is Iron Fist. Sure. How come the Quidditch stadiums have grass with lines on them when it's completely aerial game? Correct. <laughs> You're right. It's just got, you know, J.K. Rowling, she's a brilliant woman. Say what you want about her. She's a brilliant woman. But let me tell you, she's an idiot sometimes. That was funny. There's some shit like that that makes no sense That's in Harry so Potter. That's so funny. 
Spider-Man with Batman's villains or Batman with Spider-Man's villains? Uh, like, who would win? Yeah. Spider-Man with Batman's villains would, like, mentally not do great. Like, they toy with his emotions too much. Oh, but yeah. But he's way stronger than any of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and Batman, like, Batman couldn't take on... Ha I mean, he could, but... Yeah, I think he'd do all right. Uh, they're, they'd both do fine. Who do you think is the best live-action Riddler? The one from Gotham. You ready? Jesse Eisenberg, Lex Luthor. Also Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey's not a good Riddler. He's great. No. What are your thoughts on Jared Leto returning as the Joker in Zack Snyder's Justice League? I don't love it. Uh, that's garbage. Spider-Man versus Batman. Who wins in a fight? Spider-Man. No, Batman. Prep time, baby. Who would last longer? I assume they mean sexually. Probably me. <laughs> probably you. But probably not. Given I have the a fact that you've porn addiction. Given the fact that you've done it. That I've had sex. Yeah, you yeah. have not. Yeah. What's you're, the weirdest interaction you've had with a holy fan? Holy you're gonna blow your load prematurely. <laughs> Continue. Sorry. What's the weirdest interaction you've had with a fan? That's you. He's way more famous than me. Um, I, I haven't had any really weird ones, but there was like because everyone's been so nice and we normally have a great fun time uh, but there was one time where I was literally you're rubbing your toes on me and I can't handle that sorry toesies to yourself please Ow! <laughs> <laughs> what would you do if I just got under the table right now and just sucked on him oh gross don't you dare don't you fucking dare <laughs> dude he's a lunatic Deborah said be more spontaneous. Dude, you're a freaking lunatic. <laughs> Get back up. Um, so there's there hasn't been a lot of weird ones, but there, there was once where I was filming with someone. I was in the middle of interviewing someone, and I saw a fan come and stand next to me, mm. or like right off camera, mm -hmm. and look at me for a second, and then walk back off. And then as I'm talking to this person, and we're filming, he walks into the shot, stands in front of me, and goes, can I have a picture? And I was like, as soon as I'm done, can you stand right over there? Yep. It was just like rude. Just happens. Yeah. They don't know. Which Spider-Man are you most excited to see in Across the Spider-Verse? Oh, I have a pretty good answer for this. Um, I'm going to miss Spider-Nor. Is he in it? No. Nick I'm gonna, Cage is not in I it. I know. I think that's crazy. I am going to miss him, but I don't want any of them to be in it. Spider-Gwen. Oh, interesting. I'll suck her I'm toes. really... You're a weirdo, <laughs> man. I'm really excited for Spider-Punk. Okay. Yeah. It's Daniel, it's Daniel Kaluuya. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you know who that is? Yes. Get out. No. Nope. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's the border tribe leader yeah, what kind in the of, MCU. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're in a room with a horse and Hitler and one bullet, who are you shooting? I am somehow figuring out a way to shoot Alex. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would shoot Hitler, obviously. I'm a general. Yeah, whatever. If you weren't a YouTuber, what would you be? Well, I'm not. Uh, I would be some sort of entertainer, actor, magician, circus performer. You wouldn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> How rude. Top MCU project, top DCEU project. Infinity War. Avengers. The Suicide Squad. Yeah, I'll go with that. What else would it be? One, the Snyder Cut. The first Wonder Woman. No, Snyder Cut is up there with Suicide Squad, but Suicide Squad, The Suicide Squad is better. Yep. Uh, Backyardigans, Sesame Street, or Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. I've got a good answer for this. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is up there, that and Sesame Street. Sesame Street for me clearly, just because Big Bird's my cousin. Meaning you look like him. Yeah, you can't tell the resemblance. Oh, I can tell the resemblance. Uh, do you like pickles? Dude, we're not even halfway through these questions. Sure. It's going to take freaking... This is going to be the longest pod episode ever. No, we're banging through this. What is your guys' lightsaber color? I like red. That doesn't surprise me in the slightest. Green. Who's one superhero that you would like to date your sister? You would least like to date your sister. Human Torch is a menace. Yeah, that's true. Deadpool is a... Deadpool. I was about to say Deadpool. Character in a movie that you were hyped for that disappointed you. I was so excited for Fan Four Stick. Are we asking? Is it asking for a specific character? So all of the Fantastic Four. Yeah. Favorite villain who isn't in the MCU yet? Uh, I mean, Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom. And Galactus is kind of cool. Oh, Silver Surfer if he's considered a villain. Yeah. Question for Alex: How would you rank the Star Wars shows on Disney Plus? Mando, Boba Fett, Andor, Bad Batch, Kenobi. Kenobi is last. Wow. Then Boba Fett. Wow, Boba Fett's better than Kenobi? That's crazy. Boba Fett is better than Kenobi. Did you see one the second, last episode? Uh, okay, Rose, keep, keep going. did you see the last episode of Boba Fett? Nope. It was like if you took like all of your action figures and were just like, oh, here's going to be 
Mando, and yeah. here's Boba Fett, and here's, here's the Ahsoka, yeah. and, and oh my gosh, we're gonna oh here is a Rancor, and Boba Fett's gonna be riding a Rancor, and then there's Baby Yoda. It was awesome. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So Kenobi's last, then Boba Fett, then Bad Batch, then Mando, then Clone and Wars. Andor is won oh. by a mile. Should John Krasinski play Reed Richards? Sure. In the mainline MCU? Yeah. No. Aw. <laughs> For Alex, what are your top three DCEU movies from the current DC universe? This is good. One is The Suicide Squad, two is The Snyder Cut, and three is Batman v Superman. And then uh, for Andrew, from all animated Spider-Man TV series, what is your favorite if you have one? Um, uh, Original from the 90s is so good. Yeah, I was thinking that one or the one that was right after that. Yeah. No, I know what uh, you're talking I, about. I think. Question for Andrew. Most disappointing Marvel movie? Guardians 2, probably. Is, what else would it be? Thor, Love, and Thunder. Oh, Mom. Multiverse of Madness. Mm, no. Most disappointing Star Wars movie for you? Rest Skywalker. Yep. Um, which is a better movie, Batman Begins or The Dark Knight Rises? We have the same answer, but for different reasons. Dark Batman Knight. Begins. Dark Knight Rises. Dark Knight Rises, the one you dislike. Oh, oh, no. Nice. I love The Dark Knight Rises. Oh. You hate it for whatever reason. Yeah. Top three Force users and top three non-Force users, I guess, so just in Star Wars. Um, just our favorites or just like, like our most powerful? I don't know what it's asking. Oh, like Han Solo is up yeah. there for non-Force user. Are we just saying our favorites, Yoda. though? Yoda. Yeah, I guess so. So top three Force users, Obi-Wan, Yoda. Vader. Sure. Yeah. And then... Non, non, I mean, Han, for me, Rex is up there. Han Solo's up there. And Rose. Sure. No. <laughs> Jar Jar. Keep, favorite, keep. favorite sports teams. Uh, every Florida team. Uh, and I'm a Rams fan. And special shout out to the Owls for making it to the Final Four. What are your favorite MCU characters other than Spider-Man? Cap. Oh, Loki. Best MCU project for every phase. This is good. Okay, phase one. Avengers. Avengers. Phase two, Winter, Winter Soldier. Soldier. Phase, uh, Guardians is in phase two too, but Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier. It. Phase three, Infinity, Infinity War. War. Phase, phase four, four, No Way Home. Yeah, sorry. Correct. Nice. Nice. Oh, give me some. Yeah, give me some of that. That was great. Mm, man, you should have your toes up. Uh, best, uh, yeah. You, oh, you want to read it again? No. Or, okay. Why don't you post on your... Uh, the question for Wafella, why don't you post on your YouTube channel that often? Okay, I don't know what you're on about, but I post three times a day, but they're shorts. shorts. So if you're talking about long-form videos, I am working on that. I currently, in the works, have eight videos that I'm working on. I also, I also have a whole video where I kidnapped Alex and... Uh, that might never come out. It's that was months ago, way before we started the podcast. Yeah, it, it, it's completely finished. It's edited. I kidnapped you. I had trivia ready for you to go. You had to do in a whole escape room. Yeah. I had a punishment ready for you. It's a very elaborate, fun video. I just don't think it's going to do well, and I just don't want to release it. Um, I also kidnapped... It's a Patreon thing. Maybe, yeah. yeah. I also kidnapped my friend Colin and filmed that whole thing and spent a lot of money on that. And then I also have videos where I donated to small streamers for answering trivia. I did trivia with people on Omegle. I have probably... 10 to 15 videos that I'm working on that I'm either not going to post or are in the works. So three shorts a day, a community post a day, and long form videos are coming. The podcast is a big factor though. Yeah. Uh, what are your favorite non-MCU Marvel movies? So it's got to be Logan, Deadpool, those. Yeah, Logan and Deadpool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you more excited for Loki season two or Secret Invasion? For me, Secret Invasion. For me, Loki season two, but I'm very excited for Secret Invasion. If you were a superhero, which roster of villains would you rather have? Batman villains or Spider-Man villains? Spider-Man villains are so much more fun. I'm terrified of like Scarecrow and Hugo Strange and Professor Pig and all those guys scare the shit out of me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alex, do you enjoy having terrible takes that make you everyone on the internet hate you? I love the internet hating me. Yeah. I love it. Bro, you guys don't seem to f***ing understand. I have the symbiote cup. I am the bad guy. I know I'm the bad guy. F*** y'all. I believe everything I say. Gang. That was awesome. Gang. That's on Gang for real, for real. What's your op opinions? What's your opinions on the three new Star Wars movie announcements? Have you heard about this? Uh, Daisy Ridley is coming back. As Ray, I knew 15 that. 15 years later. That's fine. Sure, I hope it's good. They're it's a movie that. about her? Yeah. Okay, it's cool. her training the Jedi, the next Jedi, 15 yeah. years after Ray yeah, Skywalker. Yeah, which is exactly what Luke should have been doing. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Um, uh, uh, James Mangold, 
who's doing uh, Indiana Jones 5, and he's doing, uh, he did Logan, he did Ford v. Ferrari, he's doing a Star Wars movie 25,000 years before Phantom Menace. Nice. Yeah, and nice. it's the first time people are figuring out how to use the Force. Oh, that's cool. That's the one I'm most excited for. I forget. Oh, and then Dave Filoni is making a movie for the Mandoverse. Oh, very cool. Are you more excited for Blue Beetle or Across the Spider-Verse? Spider Across the Spider-Verse, yeah. But I'm excited for Blue Beetle. Yeah. Question for Andrew. Mm -hmm. How can you wear socks on grass? You're a madman. He's a madman. What are they talking about? You did videos with me and Rachel and Oh, it was Monica. cold outside. And also, that's fake grass. Do you have, it's turf. Do you have the meats? We all know that Andrew loves Jenna Ortega. But who are each of your top five celebrity crushes? Just do like top one or two. Um, uh, Jenna Ortega might have been dethroned after I watched Operation Fortune with Ob Aubrey Plaza. I always forget if it's yeah. Audrey or Aubrey. Aubrey Plaza yeah. was crazy. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm a big Gemma Chan guy. She's Cersei from Eternals. Mm -hmm. And uh, Adele, Kate Beckinsdale. Yep. Some of them. Okay. Oh. Nakia from Black Panther. What's her Ooh, name? Uh, Lupita Nyong'o. Lupita Nyong'o is really up there for me. Toby, Andrew, and Tom, whose life would you want to switch place with out of the three? You go through everything they went through in all their movies and can't change anything. Andrew, because he got to kiss. No, stuff. you're out of your mind. You lose her. And he has the only ones that parents matter. No, hold, on, hold on. Yeah, you have to experience all their shit. I'm, I, I thought I was talking about the, the, the actors. No, 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 like their characters. So it has to be Toby. Toby. Yeah, He deals of course. with the least amount of shit. Yeah. He only loses Uncle Ben. I don't want the whole world Andy forgetting. I thought I was talking about the actors who went through like their movies and no. like the, the audience reaction no. to them and stuff like that. No, 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 okay. no. Oh, well, if that was the case. It's easily I, Tom Holland. It's easily Andrew. What would your, be your last meal? I'd like a good burger. Like a mean burger cooked medium and some french fries. Maybe some broccoli on the side. I want my mom's brownies. Good. Marvel characters you want oh, to see. Oh, you're just going to do two in a row like that? You're yeah, gonna... you. Okay. Marvel characters you want to see on the big screen. We already did that. Can you explain further why Alex puts WandaVision over Endgame? Yeah, because he has like, uh, I think, oh, I was going to make a terrible joke. You make the joke. I was going to say you had a tumor in your brain that made you say stupid things. What a terrible joke. Uh, WandaVision is better than Endgame. It was just the best thing. It's awesome. It, I loved when it was coming out, like the anticipation of every episode and all the theories we did. And oh, shout out Screen Crush, our dear friends at Screen Crush. I've known Ryan Airy for a very long time and he does amazing work over there. And I just loved all the Mephisto theories and everything like that. And I didn't, didn't get that with anything else in the MCU ever. Would you rather have a third Amazing Spider-Man or a fourth Captain America? Third Amazing Spider-Man. Third Amazing Spider-Man by a mile. Well, the suggestion he gave was it would be following Cap returning the stones. I, I already know what the f*** happens. Yeah, whatever. If anyone other than James Gunn were to take over the DCU, who would you choose? Kevin Feige. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody's going to do a better job than James Gunn. If you were to restart the MCU or DCU, which character would you start with and why? Also, who would you cast for it? I'd start with Superman. Yeah. For, and then I don't know who I, I would want cast. A, I want unknowns. For everybody. Yeah. And then Marvel. Um, Could start with I mean, you have to start with like X-Men or somebody. Spidey. Yeah. yeah, Spidey's a good one. Have you watched Doctor Who? No. I've seen the first episode. What's a sequel to a movie that doesn't have a sequel that you would want to see? Oh, the other guys. Ooh. They did Daddy's Home and Daddy's Home 2. Night and Day. I don't know. It is a Tom Cruise movie with uh, uh, Cruise. What's that girl's name? Uh, Penelope Cruz? No, frick. I'm I'm such an idiot. I should know who it is. But it's one of the best action movies ever, in my opinion. It's so funny. It's funny and good action, but... All right. What's Don't it? know if y'all have done this. Cameron Diaz. Nice. I combined her first letter of her first name with the Z at the end and came up with Cruz somehow. <laughs> also Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. I just combined it all. <laughs> Don't know if y'all have done this or not, but I don't think so, LOL. What are your thoughts on the Snyderverse as a whole and the Snyder Cut specifically? I love the Snyder Cut. The jo Justice League sucks. Uh, I think the Sn Snyderverse overall is better than it is bad, but obviously it starts with the worst movie of all time. I don't think there's a single good thing about it. You're out of your 
in mind, dude. Batman v Superman has great moments. Batman v Superman is one of the worst comic book movies I've ever it's seen. It's the best Batman we've ever had. Is Batman v Superman. Without question. Yeah, but it's overshadowed by the fact that it's the worst Superman we've ever had. It is the worst Superman and we've the ever worst, had. And, and the worst Lex Luthor, Luthor we've ever it's had. It's not a great Lex Luthor. And, and the Doomsday thing and is they, stupid. And they bring in Wonder Woman and they kill but off Superman. And and they just yeah, they just totally screw up so much stuff that's like, okay, well, okay, Batman was Zach good. Because Zack Snyder great. is only able to make the Dark Knight Returns, but he does a hell of a job of it. Yeah, so... Man of Steel is bad. Batman v Superman was bad. The Snyder Cut is Suicide a little... Squad is bad. The original one. Yeah. So. The Suicide Squad is great. If you were forced to watch either Up or Moon Knight for eternity, which one would you choose? Up. Up. I, up. At least it's a good movie. Like it's just not better than Cars Two. Now that you've had Straw Hat Goofy on, who are some guests you are having on in the future? And name some of who would be your dream guests. Do we tell them the surprise or no? I say we save it. We've got somebody coming on very soon that I'll I'll tell him. No, jo Joe Biden's coming on. Oh, <laughs> you scared the shit out of me. So yeah, so we've got somebody coming on that you guys will like. But um, we're gonna have dream to dream guests. Joe Burrow, the quarterback of the Cincinnati Bengals, is a big nerd. Metro Boomin is my number one. I would love to have him on. All of his music is like superhero themed and everything, and he's doing the Spider Verse soundtrack. If you could have a Disney Plus show about any MCU villain, who would you choose and why? Justin Hammer. Oh gosh, could he carry a whole show though without being annoying? Dude, Sam Rockwell's the best. If you could take one character from DC Comics and put them into my Marvel Comics and vice versa, who would it be? Flash would be so fun in uh, Marvel and it would make sense. You could do it, that he crossed yeah. over into the universe because he's so I want, fast. I want Iron Man over in DC. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. I agree. What MCU movie do you wish you could watch again for the first time? In game, obviously. Infinity War. Dude, I was sh my pants in that theater. Who would win? Batman with a year of prep time or Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet? Batman with a year of prep time is undefeated. Absolutely. Does Doctor Strange's forgetting spell, spell, forgetting spell work on Fury too? He wasn't on Earth. We'll have no. To, we'll have to wait and see. We will see, but I don't think so. I don't think so. What are your top three movie soundtracks of all time? For some reason, Jurassic Park hits. Jurassic Park slaps to me. I was going to go Empire Strikes Back, so that's a different John Williams soundtrack. Yeah, I mean, John Williams could easily have the top three. three. Harry Potter. Yeah. Yeah, like... I thought you were going to go Greatest Showman. Oh, well, yeah. If we're, we're talking like, yeah. Um, so I'll go Jurassic Park. That. Yeah, I can't do a top three. Empire Strikes Back's only that's yeah. coming to me right now. King the Conqueror is trying to kill you. What three Marvel characters are you picking to try to protect you? Doctor Strange, Wanda. Wanda. Those are my top two. And then after that... Wait, what does it say? What three Marvel characters? So it can be... Uh, Freaking pick... Dormammu. Like, yeah, just pick someone who's like infinitely powerful. Absurdly powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Thanos. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah. Um, question for both. What are your guys' thoughts on Logan? It's one of my favorite movies ever and a great ending to Wolverine's character. It's we a freaking it. masterpiece. Yeah. What are both of your top... Uh, this is top 10 movies of all time. Nope. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. We'll do it in another thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this movie, this isn't movie related, but what color is... Oh, matches science, language arts, history, and math. What color? What color? Yeah. So math is blue. Yeah. Um. Uh. History is like a dark red. Red. Yeah. Um. Ling. Uh. Science is green. Green. And what's language arts? Purple. Sure. Yeah. What is your favorite Christopher Nolan movie? Dark Knight, not included. Interstellar. It is Dark Knight. Or, or maybe mine's or, Inception. Mar or Inception. Inception. I haven't seen it in a long time. Masterful. Uh, I'm a big Tenet fan though, and nobody else is. Oh, Batman Begins is up there as well. Um. Question, what is the best not popular underground type movie? Like movies that nobody's really heard of. Uh, I had never heard of About Time. Okay, I'll give it to you. Thoughts on both Deadpool movies? Both great, first one's a little better. No, I think the second one is bad. Okay. But the first one is one of the best CBMs ever. For Andrew, when is Wafello the Great releasing? The book? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll have to see. For Alex, what's the lore behind you loving horses so much? I love them. You're just going to have to go back and watch all the episodes. They look like me. What are your thoughts about the character Rose Tycho? Tico. Tico, sorry. Um, she, how uh, great, I, I, I hate her so much, I'm going to continue to mispronounce her last name. Absurd. How great would it be if she was a spy for the First Order? That would have been interesting. How, how, how great would it have been if when she saved him Finn and instead of saying that line at the end of the movie and about you know uh, we have to fight for what we want to save and love or whatever that she, when she did that instead of that she just died no <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> she just kind of like exploded. Question: If you could own or wield any fictional item, what would it be? The Batmobile, the lightsaber, and X-wing. My would it be the Om- Omnitrix from Ben Ten? Um, I'm going a wand, elder wand, any wand. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Who's your favorite leader in fiction? Three, two, one. The Caesar. Gr- yes. I thought I was going to go a great councilwoman, Lou. Oh, oh, yeah, great councilwoman. Yeah, yeah. Um, yes, yeah, Caesar is number one. Alex is always wearing Transformers t shirts. Do you guys like Transformers? And will it ever be a discussion on the show? When the new movie comes out, we'll for sure talk about it. I've never seen them. Oh, we got to change yeah. that. If you could take any Marvel movie and remake it to make it better, which one would you choose and what would you do to fix it? Guardians 2. So here's a... Yeah. Take Ego out. Yeah, but here you could also take Endgame and make it just as good or better than Infinity War and it would be like crazy. You can't. It's Endgame is as good as it would be. I, just, I think it could... Okay. What would you change about Endgame? I don't know. I don't know. Exactly. No. Fuck out of here. You got to change one of the bad ones. Make Captain Marvel great. Because no. Captain Marvel had so much potential. What music do you both listen to? Favorite artists and favorite songs? I listen to French pop. Her name's Angel. Yeah, I listen to Billy Joel and Skillet. Actually, I don't listen to them as much anymore. I listen to random stuff. What are your favorite rom-coms? I don't even know. About time. Yeah. Is that a is that a romantic comedy? Yeah. Oh, Crazy Rich Asians is awesome. I need to watch that. I loved Crazy Rich Asians. Uh, top five personal favorite fictional characters of all time. We're not doing top five. Let's do top three. Give me Caesar. Give me Darth Vader. I don't know who else. You've already asked me this on the pod. Go yeah. and watch it. And you uh, give terrible answers. They, they weren't that bad. Uh, actually, those weren't my favorites. Those were uh, what we said. Best. What I was trying to say the best. Yeah. Uh, who would win in a fight, Thanos or Dark Side? Dark Side. Dark Side. Yeah. Yeah. But if Thanos has the entire Infinity Gauntlet, he's. It might be him. Best '90s show. Seinfeld. Friends, friends yeah. yeah. If you make anything from Star Wars Legends canon, what would it be? Everything that happened you after. You like Mara Jade. I like it better than what we got. No. So, yeah. I'm actually a big fan of Disney getting rid of the EU. I think there's a lot of bad shit in it. Star Lord or Ant Man? Star Lord. Ant Man? Oh, well, yeah. What video game are you currently playing and what's the last you played? Neither and nothing. Mm, <laughs> yeah, for real. We barely game, unfortunately. We got this podcast. Do you like TMNM, TMNT? If so, who's your favorite turtle? I know mine is Donatello. I've never watched any Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle thing ever. Once, ever. I've never so seen you're not him. excited for Mutant Mayhem? I've ne- well, number one, the trailer is unbelievably cringe and I hate it. What? Yeah, the... What? I saw everyone. I saw everyone on the internet being like, "Oh, this looks so good! It's so amazing!" And I watched it. I've, I've been to the theater twice now, and I've seen the trailer both times, and I have not even come close to chuckling at anything that happened. You don't in that think trailer. it's hilarious when the thing goes into his leg? And then he just screams, "Oh, ha ha!" Goodness gracious! What is the worst movie you've ever seen, and was the best movie you've ever seen? Avatar: The Last Airbender. The Last Airbender is what it's called. Also, uh, Terrifier. The first one is pretty Tough. bad. And what is the best movie you've ever seen? Uh, I don't know. I mean, we know what my favorites are. I went viral for it. Parasite is probably the best movie I've ever seen. It's a little derivative of 2016's The Handmaiden, but that movie is unfucking believable Also, Shawshank is amazing. Who is the greatest podcast duo and why is it you guys? First of all, thank we'll you very much. We'll let y'all much. answer that. Uh, you like The Basement Yard a lot? I do like The Basement Yard. I like Nick and Mason from... Mr. Sunday Movies and Mason from Wikipedia Brown from uh, the Weekly Planet are up there. Oh, yeah. What is your favorite scary movie? Hereditary. Oh, I forgot. I knew there was one I was missing. Hereditary, Conjuring 2, and yep. The Thing are my three. Hereditary, Conjuring 2. <laughs> Isn't that Amazing. crazy? Isn't that crazy? Great answer. And... um. I like the saws. So the, all the saws are bad movies, but I love them personally. The first saw and jigsaw, I think, are actually good, though. Saw one is amazing. It's yeah. James Wan. Yeah. That, that's amazing. Sometimes I love you. Dude, that was, a, we did not plan that. <laughs> that was amazing. Are you excited for the live action Atlas series? Nervous. N- yeah, I was when the creators were involved. No, I'm not. They're not involved anymore? Netflix came out and said when they started the show that the creators were going to be involved because they didn't basically didn't want to do what M. Night Shyamalan was going to do. About four, three, four years ago, the creators came out on Instagram and both posted something at the same time and said that they were exiting the show because Netflix did not keep up their end and did not do what they promised and uh, they didn't want to be involved with it anymore. So it, you have to assume that it's going to be bad. Oh, no. What is the best? Who is the best Sith? 
Darth Vader. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Or the Emperor. And Last one. Best we answered questions for 20 plus minutes. Best sacrifice in a movie or TV show. It's just because it's coming to mind right now. Tech is a really good one on the Bad Batch. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Best sacrifice. I want to look up like There's a There's a lot of good ones in yeah. the Clone Wars. Holy shit. Iron Man. Iron, Iron Man, Man. and Endgame. That's, that's a good I'm going to go pee. Is that okay with you? Of course. Do you want me to take the mic in there so they can listen to it? Or mm -hmm. would you like to come in there with me mm -hmm. and listen to it? Let's go pee together. Okay. All right. We're back. You peed. How was your pee? Uh, it was actually really fantastic. That's great. Thanks for helping. Oh, of course. You want to put the mug back yep. on the thing? And what do we got now? We got hot takes, baby. Yeah, but it's different. Y'all were furious that we didn't do hot takes last week. I'm so sorry we about cut that. It. I but our wanted to but do but it. But our patrons will see it. Oh, oh by terrible. the way, follow us on everything. I was going to prepare. The, I had a whole spiel and you've ruined it. Well, these are the things you need to talk to me about. Okay. Our uh, relationship is based on communication. You sound like Rachel. Um, I sound like Deborah. You do. Um, okay. Yeah. Follow us on everything, please. Instagram. Really yep. need it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we haven't given away the shirt yet because we haven't hit our goal we're, on, on we're, Instagram. We're, we're, we are closer to 30,000 on TikTok than we are to 20,000. And we are closer to 3,000. We're, we're going to hit 3,000 well before this comes out on YouTube. And yet... We can't get 1,000 on Instagram. We're, we're lapping our goals for the other platforms that we can't get on, on Instagram. We need it on Instagram before we give away the shirt and then give away other things. Join the Discord. Talk. Please. I chat maybe four times a week in there. We go on a lounge and we just shoot the shit. If you guys want to talk the way that we talk on the pod with me, with a bunch of people that act and think exactly like, like, like you, join the Discord and come chat with me. It's a whale of a time. Yeah, we we uh we can really start building a community on on platforms like Discord, Instagram, stuff like that. Yep. And uh, keep keep talking to us about the patron, the Patreon. A lot of people have uh, told us about their support, and we'd love to do that. We'd love to, you know, at some point, uh, we'd like this to be our job. So we appreciate the support. So. Yes, it really does mean the world. And the giveaway, guys. if you want to still enter for some reason, it's in the description. Yes. All right, hot takes. All right, we are doing a hot takes, but like Andrew said, it is a little bit different. These are hot takes exclusively. Not ours, but from our Discord. So if you want to be on a hot take segment on the pod in the future, we've got hot takes for Andrew and hot takes for Alex for us to say to each other to piss each other off. And we're going to be doing one of these every once in a while. So uh, that's, that's what we're doing here. So if you want to be on the show, share your hot takes. Discord is where it's at. Hit me. All right, baby. I'm starting. Yeah, hit me. Uh, Tasm 2 is garbage, trash, and belongs in the same conversation as Fant 4 stick. Okay. This is not my opinion. This, 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 that's not going to blow me away because everyone doesn't like Amazing Spider-Man 2 yeah. as much as they should. Yeah. But to say Fant it's Fant 4, 4 stick, stick. Yeah, 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 like, there are some good things in Tasm 2. I think so. Even though... There I, are no good things in Fant 4 right. stick. Phantom Menace is better than The Last Jedi. That's popular opinion, yeah, Darth, which is whack. Darth Maul, baby. The Toy Story series is hilariously overrated. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. They don't understand what overrated means. I mean, if they don't we like should Toy do that Story. Game. We should do that game. Where overrated, we underrated, or properly, properly rated. rated. Great idea. Yeah, we should do that. A lot of clinks this episode. It's like a positivity oh, episode almost. Oh, I'm in a great mood. Uh, well, we're about to fix that. Nope. Uh, She-Hulk is the worst MCU project ever. That's crazy. That's crazy. You guys are whack. Dude, Everyone say we have whack opinions. Absurd. And you're the king of hot takes, and this podcast is a podcast of hot takes from both of us, all this stuff. Y'all are whack. This is, you're going to be furious. Spectacular. Spider-Man is the best Spider-Man of all time, without question. Without question? It's, it actually says it's the best Spider-Man property ever. What? <laughs> An annoying little prick that breaks the fourth wall and isn't funny at all? That's the that's all you got? That's, Into the Spider-Verse is right there. I know. Toby, Andrew, and Tom are I'm right there. I'm the comics are right there. I'm just doing the job. You've lost a point here. I do want to keep going, but... I want to find that person on the Discord and ban them. That's terrible. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Clone Wars is mid. 
<laughs> I knew this was coming. I fucking knew this was coming. What an absurd take. Wrong. All right. <clears throat> Peeps are a top five candy. Oh my gosh. Peeps are top I five. I agree with Peeps that. Peeps are top five worst things I probably put in my mouth. You're out of your fucking mind. And I just put your toes in my Dude, mouth. Dude, Pete, no, you did not. Peeps <laughs> are awesome. Dude, you're fucking out of your mind. <laughs> Man of Steel is better than Batman Begins. Who said that? I don't know. Oh. Oh. Should we send them medical uh, like help? They should have some scans done. Uh, you, you believe that's so far from the truth, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Of course. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. That counts as a break, by the way. Yeah, I agree. Not much can get me to do that. That was... Batman Begins is probably better than the entire MCU. Uh. I think maybe Infinity War, maybe Civil War, maybe No Way Home have conversation, but that's it. Batman Begins is a masterpiece. And Man of Steel is the worst movie of all time. That was unbelievable. Up is not great and very forgettable. Besides a good start to the movie, it becomes one of the worst Pixar films. What do you mean forgettable? I agree it's with most, most of this. Why? It's one of the most iconic. The House of Balloons? Iconic. Guess what? Not in the first 10 minutes of the movie. <laughs> Ke Kevin the Bird? Iconic. Squirrel? People still quote that movie. Are you out of control? Like, what? Like, people just people 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 get behind your little computer, mm -hmm. and they and they and they write stuff down, and they don't look up definitions of words. Do you understand? Because forgettable means people forget about it. Guess what? We're still talking about it. We're just talking about how bad it is. Not bad. Right. Definitely not forgettable. One of the most one of the most rememberable. Memorable is the word you're looking for. Something Jack like ass. that. Uh, movies ever. No. All right, well, let's do one more each. I don't have any more. Oh, okay. You ready for this one? No. Dane DeHaan is a better Green Goblin than Willem Dafoe. Isn't that absurd? Isn't that the craziest thing you've ever heard in your entire f***ing life? Peter. <laughs> That's better than... The Willem Dafoe mirror scene alone. Out, am I? Oh, so good. Oh, so good. So good. Now, Norman's on sabbatical. <laughs> so good. All right. Pretty good. That was fun. All that right. That was fun. Uh, bracket. Bracket time. But first, I have something very important to do. Let's hear it. Button. Oh, sh Deathly Hallows is bad. Deathly Hallows Part 2 is bad. That's crazy. You should have to say why it's bad. You know? It's not bad. It's so I'm sorry, good. Button. Deathly Hallows Part 2 is bad. Thank you. It's so good. Okay, you can't just go back and just fix what you just said. So, button. <laughs> Deadly Hallows Part 2 is bad. Okay, and The Last Jedi is good. 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 I'm taking the button away. <laughs> I have no internet. Would you like to fix that for me? There's no internet in this hut. There it is. Okay. All right. Riz Bracket. Woo! Uh, uh, that was disgusting. Characters we think have the most Riz. Yes. The first, so we've done the first... Uh, Round with Monica last yes. week. Uh, this is a crazy first matchup. All right, let's hear it. This is really hard. Let's hear it. Flynn Rider. Okay. Oh, it's your cousin. No, Ernesto! I got him. No! You're a murderer. Yeah, he was kind of annoying. You can murder people that are annoying, right? I would have already been murdered. murdered. <laughs> yeah. Um, Flynn Rider, Mike Wazowski. Who has more Riz? This is really a toss up. That is tough. This is a toss up. That is much tougher than I thought we would start this episode with. <laughs> yeah, this is. Can we come back to it? Sure. Okay. Wally, Jack Sparrow, who has more Riz? Wally. No. He has the second best achievement on this list. Robot to robot, babe. 
Human to human. Yeah, but he's got human to human and human and human and her and her and her and her. You know how many times Jack Sparrow just walks into a city and he's like, and then the girls are like, oh, I remember having sex with you. Yeah, it doesn't f- matter, bro. He's a pirate. They were having so much sex back in the day. They yeah. all had syphilis. Jack Sparrow has pirate riz. That's a type of riz, dude. Dude, please. There's different categories of riz. It's, I have magician riz, dude, right? It, it's, you have giraffe riz. Dude, it's he has pirate gotta riz. It's got to be Wally, man. It's got to be Wally. This is crazy that this is even a discussion. Wally, the second, Wally doesn't say anything. Exactly. He's this. That's the second best achievement on this list. He does do that whole dance with her. Yes, he f- does because he's the Riz Lord. With yes, the fire extinguisher. With the fire extinguisher. Just because of that scene, I'll put Wally Thank f- Okay, calm down. I haven't cursed that much in this episode. That's you true. Can... That's true. Spider Ham. Okay. I don't even, I still don't know why he's on this list. Because he went up against Peter Griffin. Puss in Boots. Puss, Puss in, in Boots. boots. Exactly. I didn't Your know what... favorite fearless hero. See, that's not a great example as to why he's got Riz, but he's just got Riz. He's fucking... Can you just let me enjoy the song? Yeah. Favorite fearless hero. You were just the one complaining that you might have to sing earlier, and here you are singing on live television. This isn't live. It's you're pre-recorded. Right. So it's also gonna, not television. You're going to edit this out? Because you've already done it. Favorite fearless hero. Why couldn't you have done that with the peaches? Why did you give us a problem? Peaches, peaches. See? Lumiere. Now, then I had to. Fuck. Lumiere. Okay. Lumiere. Okay. Okay. It doesn't really matter what I say next. Yeah, right? I agree. Lumiere or T'Challa, who has more Riz? Lumiere. Lumiere. He's our favorite to win the, win the thing, right? Barney. The bee. I, I'm looking me in the eyes right now. He ain't winning. He is winning. He's not winning. He's winning. Lumiere. Okay. T'Challa freezes. Mr. Is, yeah. Mr. Incredible or Woody? Mr. Incredible. Elas- no. Elastic Girl or... Is the baddest girl on this list that yeah. any of them have bagged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he married her. He put not one, not two. He put three babies in that bitch. Yeah, he did. Whoo! Oh, and, and that and that scene where she's like mad at him and she punches Mirage because she thinks he's cheating with Mirage and he grabs her and pulls her around. He's like, how could I miss the, you know, the most beautiful woman in the world? And she's like, I was like, oh, that's smooth. He's got he's it. He's a killer. He's a killer. Diego. The, the saber tooth tiger. All right, all right. Steve Harrington. Steve Harrington from Stranger Things. Diego's on the internet. On the internet, yeah, but in the in in the movie, we don't see anything. What? I need to stop cursing. Yeah, it's okay. You got so mad at I'm me. I'm just I'm just gonna delete the whole episode. <laughs> the Escape Podcast will be no more. Uh, I'll stop cursing. Uh, you want to go, Steve Harrington? I will defer to you because you are familiar with the. Another one of your cousins is in here. That's Jason. Yeah, Steve Harrington gets Nancy, and and she's bad. All right, Daredevil or Spider Man, Tom Holland's version. Who has more Riz? Daredevil. Yes. Yeah. That sucks that Tom is out, though. Uh, Tom is actually pretty good. What about Spider-Man Toby's version versus Bugs Bunny? This is tough. Bugs gets Lola, and Bugs is, in terms of just talking, quick talking, I and being a legend, Bugs. I'm down with Bugs. I don't, he is the Riz guy. I just think that Toby's body of work isn't nearly as impressive as just Lola Bunny. I look at this much differently than you. You look at it like based on what we see, and I'm just a performance guy. I'm a resume guy. I want to see who you got on your resume. Bugs, there's there's that one episode where Bugs goes after like a robot bunny. Dude, I'm telling you, Bugs is it. I already voted for Bugs. Yeah, but then she like breaks apart. Lightning McQueen, Christian Grey. <laughs> Christian Grey. I'm going lightning here. He has thousands of fans. He has those girls flashing their headlights at him. Yeah, but... Christian Grey is just... He's rich and handsome. He has two pluses, like... Yeah, but Lightning McQueen is also rich and famous. But, like, like Christian Grey is, like, what? He just... he The whole movie is him trying to convince Dakota Johnson to be able to beat her up. And guess what he does? No, I know, but, like, like you can't spend an entire movie... Do you see Lightning McQueen BDSM in up any cars? Yes. No, Bro, Lightning's a freak. No, he's not. Yes. No, he's not. Oh, it doesn't matter though. Lightning has Lightning girls McQueen does not have a sex throwing dungeon. themselves at him. 
And Christian just because Gray he's has famous, throw, dude, that's not his riz. That's well, just Christian his status. Gray is also famous. He's also status. He's also rich. He's like a rich, eligible. I'll bachelor. give it to you, but I've given you two so far. I'm, you got to give me lightning here. Iron Man or Anakin Skywalker? Who has more riz? Iron Man. Iron Man. Yeah. I don't know how Anakin, Anakin got coasts, this far. He coasts on his attractiveness because Monica Hayden Christensen's her celebrity crush. That's why. Yeah, yeah. I There's mean, a bias. Anakin Hayden. He has a like a, a there's gonna be a chokehold on the fandom. Get it? Get it? Thank you. I thought that was good. Yeah, yeah. Um, just because like I, I don't know. He's 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 a heartthrob, but he ain't he ain't got Riz like Iron Man's got Riz. I couldn't agree more. Andrew Spider Man, tough. Milo Thatch from Atlantis. Tough. I'm going Milo. Milo. He gets Doja Cat. Robin Hood, the fox from Disney, from the Disney movie, or Sokka, who has more riz? Sokka. Sokka. Sokka's a favorite to win this. Sokka's. Us hesitating last week on Sokka, we were wrong. Sokka yeah. should be a favorite. Sokka's here. crazy, dude. Sokka's a monster. R2-D2, Barry Benson. <laughs> this one's easy. Barry, Barry Benson. But R2, like we said, he's got the biggest penis on this bracket. Yeah. Thor or Tarzan, who has more riz? Tarzan. He doesn't speak English. Thor is conventionally attracted to so is Tarzan. I was about to say, Tarzan. This is a handsome, long hair matchup. Yeah. One of them just wears less clothing. You can see Tarzan's I'll qual- defer to you here. I will defer to you here. You interrupted me and then touched your toes on my foot. I, I am mad. What is this? Oh, That's the, the recorder. Sorry. I'll, I'm deferring to you here. You got Jason too? Yep. But here's Archibald right there. He got away. He's right there. Go! No, Archibald, go! No! <laughs> <laughs> so we're putting Tarzan through? I led you right to him. The asset... Or Captain America? The asset. Shape of water, bro. He's a fish. SpongeBob or Ferb from Phineas and Ferb, who has more riz? Ferb. Ferb. Ferb is a favorite to win this. Ferb is crazy. He's got that silent killer. Dude, he's a mm. killer. Are we finishing this today? No. We're going to do one more round. Okay. We got to go back to Flynn Rider and Mike Wazowski. That's it? That's what we got? I could, Yeah, I could easily see Flynn and Mike Wazowski like, in the finals. Yeah. Like, this is crazy. Yeah. Flynn Rider or Mike Wazowski? I know you lean towards Finn. I'm definitely leaning towards Mike. Okay. Here's the thing. Mike, Mike was a favorite to win this. So was Flynn. Flynn is just so much more Oh, he's still alive. Great. Here, here's Kyle. the thing. Here's the thing. If you take Flynn's attractiveness away, I still think he he has Riz. Right? If you take Mike Wazowski's attractiveness away, what the hell? Like, he doesn't have attractiveness. That's what I'm saying. I think they both have Riz in terms of their talking and their personality. Yep. And Riz can can show <coughs> up. Okay. 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 Oh, man. Interrupt me. Play footsie with me. Cough. I just don't feel like you respect me anymore. When did I ever respect you? That is a great point. Flynn is attractive, and that is a type of riz. Now, we said at the beginning of this bracket that, you know, we weren't going to, like, that's not the main thing we're taking into account. But if we have a dead heat... I'm going to give it to the guy who is also attractive. I'm sleeping on you. I'm sleeping you, on your You pick. look like Mike Wazowski right now. It looked like the eye. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm sleeping on you. I'm going Mike. I can't do it. I can't do it. We see one example of Mike. He gets, he gets Medusa, you know? Shmoopsy poop, brother. We see her take her to dinner. We see the way he's talking to her. 
when she's got the thing. That's true. And he's like kissing curls. up on her arm. No, and he, she's got the curls and she's got the thing, like the quarantine thing, because she was in the restaurant with the human when he ditched her, and he still gets her back. Yeah, and his whole character is kind of being the the, the smooth talker when he goes up to Roz. His whole thing. Uh, if those papers just go away, yeah, all that. He's a killer. Ukle in the Ag Bay. Yes, bro. God, that movie's great. Let's watch that movie. It's so good. I'm putting Mike through. Yes. All right, one more round, mm -hmm. and then we'll save everything else until next time. Mm -hmm. Mike Wazowski or Wally Wazowski? Wally has the, the second best achievement it's on Mike this list. It's Mike Wazowski. We got to look at resume. You were just about to vote him off for Flynn Rider. Flynn Rider would also beat Wally. No, Wally is the second best achievement I on this list. I have two feet right now, and I'm planting them both in the dirt. The final should be Wally and Barry Benson. No, you, that is unbelievably stupid. You're taking one example of them doing something but and you, acting like it's their entire personality. You, you have to talk. Look at what you they actually. You cannot underrate the achievement. Mike, was, what's the achievement? What's the achievement? Tell me. The achievement is that Wally gets with Eve who is a significantly higher level, nicer, more beautiful robot than him. Mike Wazowski is a walking eyeball. But monsters, we don't know attractiveness in the monster universe. Maybe he's handsome. Maybe they like short guys. I don't think so. Again, look, Mike Wazowski, I do not want him out this early, but Wally and Barry Benson are the no, two best taking, achievements on this list. It, that doesn't mean that they should go all the way to the finals. Just it because they have a does. single achievement doesn't mean that that's their risibility. What? That does not mean that they can do it consistently. That is not. That means that they found their one, and that's good for them. But that doesn't mean that Mike Wazowski should be kicked off when he's got it. But you got to consider that the W, right, we're, we're children, right? We're talking about Riz. The the Riz W, the W Riz, for Wally, the single W is greater than the sum of the many W's that Mike Wazowski has. No, not true. You we'll have come to back at, to this one. Uh, no, no. It's Wally. No, it's not. It's got to be Wally. I'm not budging on this. I'm not budging on I, this. My feet are planted, No, bitch. look. Bro, I'm baby Groot in this You bitch. watch Mike Wazowski. You watch Mike Wazowski. I just said this whole personality. I'm it, baby Groot in this bitch. I'm planted. I want you back. You hit my camera. Mike Wazowski's entire script is him being Riz. Yeah. You're right. But Wally has the single second greatest achievement on this list. You cannot take what could potentially be a fluke and say that he is better. That's like if you go play for the Lakers and you happen to hit a full court shot and being like, I'm better than Michael Jordan. No, you're not. You got lucky. And it was impressive. That's such a good argument. That is such a great argument. I know what the frick I'm talking about. That is an unbelievable argument. You get a clink and a victory for that one. You, <laughs> yeah. you sold it. That's un Woo! un unbelievable because you're absolutely right. Full court shot, better achievement than anything Michael Jordan has ever done. But Michael Jordan's obviously better. Yes. Wow. Thank you. That Thank is you. brilliant. Thank you. That is brilliant. Puss in Boots. Okay. Lumiere. Who has more Riz? Lumiere. Lumiere. Yep. Yeah. The, the, the last That's puss harder, but and yeah, it is harder. Foreign, so it the last Puss in Boots movie, he like, he like grows as a person, and that is nothing like, more charisma than that. Right, that's really charismatic. Stop putting your toesies on my foot. We need to do a foot camera for them next time. That's for patrons. Yeah, sad to see Puss in Boots go, but Mister Incredible Steve Harrington, who has Mr. more Incredible, who has more Riz, Mister Incredible, he is the. The baddest woman on this list is his wife, and he put three kids in her. I know her. Steve gets her. Yeah. Multiple times. Yeah, yeah. Brother, look up fucking Elastigirl. And and how many kids does she have of Steve's? They're not married yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is one of the first ones that came up. Because <laughs> <laughs> she, she's so bad. She's so bad. Yeah, but she's... Get out of here. Get out of here. 
We just don't see examples of how he got her. No, we do. Yes, we do. What about... You need to be more... Flexible. Yeah, that scene's pretty good. Mr. Incredible, fine. That's close, though, for me. Daredevil or Bugs Bunny? Who has more Riz? Wow. Daredevil. I don't know. Is it show Daredevil or is it all medium Daredevil? Do I get every comic? Because if I get every comic, he's a root rat, bro. That guy is... Bugs Bunny is the definition, though. But, like, you, you like okay. And you could even say that Bugs Bunny has the best achievement. Lola Bunny. The, the, you, your whole argument for why Mike Wazowski should have beaten Wally was it's all of the examples. Yeah. And Daredevil, I mean, it's an endless ex- uh, amount of examples. Just in the show, he gets, like, five of the girls. Yeah, I know, but I'm, I'm, I'm not... Bugs has Lola, but I'm talking about every episode that Bugs is in. His whole thing is just, like... Being a quick talking guy who can get people on his side, but 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 it's different because it's like like Daredevil like he doesn't do it because he's just hot, right? He talks in the first episode of Daredevil of the TV series on Netflix, season one, episode one. I know this because I just watched it with Rachel. Like he has the very beautiful real estate agent walk him around the apartment, and the whole time. He's making jokes with her, and he's being cool with her. He totally could have blown her back out. And that's how he just conducts himself in every scenario with all these women. That's true. I think... I think. And he wasn't trying to bang her. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think Bugs, in terms of like his personality and his persona and the way he's able to talk, I think he, he, can, he can get a lot of people on his side and be that guy. But I think that's in in a general sense. I think Daredevil can do it in a more focused area, and that focused area is romantic. And yes, and it's subtle. He's got subtle riz. Yeah. I mean, he's risen up. His his little his little like chuckle when he's got the glasses on, hot. Yes, and he's risen up Aunt May in No Way Home. In No Way Home, he's like, seems you've dodged your legal troubles. So she's like, ah. Oh! I knew it. Thank you, Matt. And then ha- she's calling ha- him Matt. Like, yeah. She's calling him on a Matt. First, first name basis. Every everybody else calls him Mr. Murdoch or 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 or, or, or just a lawyer. Whatever. So are you saying they uh, they hooked up? Probably. He's Lightning a killer. Lightning McQueen or Iron Man? Who has more Riz? Iron Man. They're in the same conversation, uh, like the kind of guy that they are. The the, the conversation that Iron. I've Man- got it. I know who I'm picking. I think it's Lightning McQueen. Let me tell you why. 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 I'm listening. Gwyneth Paltrow is in love with him. As the assistant, 100%. Pre, what are you doing to me? Go ahead. What are you putting in? Go ahead. Uh, What's her name? Pepper Potts is in love with him as an assistant. That's not impressive that he gets her. Every other woman that he gets with, they're just like fans of his. But Lightning can get all of his fans, but then he sways Sally, the number one person, the lawyer, trying to get him in the most trouble at the start of the movie. And he rises up her on top of all of his fans. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Okay, okay go. You've been called the Da Vinci of our time. What do you say to that? Absolutely ridiculous. I don't think. And what do you say to your other nickname, the Merchant of Death? Ms. Brown. It's an imperfect world, but it's the only one we've got. I guarantee you the day weapons are no longer needed to keep the peace, I'll start making bricks and beans for baby hospitals. Oh, dude, what are you... Oh, oh, this is the same thing. She came up here trying to get him. She didn't like him. She's asking all these questions. She slept with him that night. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. You've got me. You've got me. That's a great scene, man. What a great movie. <laughs> that one scene could could take him to the finals, but my oh dude, Milo Thatch from Atlantis. I'm prepared to lose him. Or Saka. Saka. Who, who has more risk? Saka. We have one example with Milo. Milo is the Wally thing, but it's less impressive because okay. he's also a human and he is handsome. Yeah, I'll give it to Saka. I'll give it to Saka. I'd give it to Saka over Wally confidently. Wow. And Wally has the second best achievement on this list. Barry Benson, the B from the B movie, or Tarzan, who has more risk. Barry. Okay, just because of that one thing. I'm not letting that take him much further. <laughs> You're out of your mind! I'm not letting You're that out happen. Your mind. You should be the favorite. The asset or Ferb, who has more risk. 
this is the hardest one we've had by far. I don't know why you're not freaking out. I think it's Ferb. They're both silent? And they're both punching so much above their weight. You don't think it's more impressive that he's not a human and he gets a human? I, I just, it's just a, it's just a feeling in my heart that I'm going with Ferb here. I don't know if I can do that. The asset is not a human. The asset, it's the third, it might be the second most impressive feat on the list. I feel like a freaking broken record. Yeah, but you have to look about how they did it. You have to look at their, their methodology, their methodology, how they pull it off. Fur pulls it off by, he saves Vanessa from a fan that is coming at her. And it's going to kill her. He uses like a tape measure and like rope and comes down and, and gets a big thing and stops the fan and literally saves her life. And then she gives him a kiss. And Vanessa is bad, dude. She's bad. Oh, and, and the, in my ride from out of space. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Oh, it's, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, look at this. Look at this, this is Riz, watch this. Yo, digging my ride from out of space. Yeah, Ferb. Wait, wait, he makes it, she drops her bags, he makes a heart in the sky, baby. Ass ain't, ain't got Jack on Ferb. <laughs> yeah, give it to Ferb. <laughs> I've got the video evidence. All right. We're finishing it up next week. We got oh, the first round next week is gonna. We're not gonna be able to do it. It should be another finals. We're not doing it this next week. We're doing. We're taking a week break. Oh yeah, because we have our special guest. Bum, bum, bum. All right, let's finish up. I've got a little surprise for you. Oh, I love surprises. Some people just wanted to uh, share with you specifically. Uh, how much you and we and the pod mean to them. We got all their permission and everything like that. And so I've got a couple messages I'd like to read to you. Okay. I can't tell if this is real or not yet. We'll this see. is real. Okay. You guys are great. And listening to the pod is something that always helps me out when I'm not feeling great. Especially in the last week, I've been re-listening to the episodes after finding out about a family member passing away. Your attitudes towards each other and your fans makes me laugh and smile no matter the mood. Keep doing what you're doing, and I'll keep listening forever. <clears throat> you guys are great, and listening to the pod is something that always helps me out when I'm not feeling great. Especially in the last week. Oh, shit. I just read that. <laughs> That was really embarrassing. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that was good. That was really bad. <laughs> I'm really not happy about that. <laughs> it's from our dear boy, Onion. Mm. That was from Tim, by the way. But um, uh, before this message begins, I want to state I've never liked podcasts. I've heard so many YouTubers that I love do them and never enjoy them, but this one clicked. All the nerdy topics I love mixed, mixed with entertaining debates, I knew it was one I would love. It's also the only podcast I would consider binging and commenting on everything for. And it's not just me that loves it. Thousands of people do, and that'll only grow. Then I found out how great the people running it are. The time I sent my first DM was right before my life was about to get rough. I sent it not expecting anything. I've seen Andrew's videos for, for a while, a year or two, and never expected to be noticed. So seeing that you guys responded so fast and were so nice, it probably saved me from going down any dark paths knowing that people I loved and respected felt the same way. This message is getting a bit too long now, so I'm gonna finish with a big thank you, and I can't wait to see what you have in store. From Chris the Onion. Just a couple things I wanted to <clears throat> read to you to let you know how much you are loved. And those were sent to us 
on Instagram, please feel free to message us, whatever, on TikTok, Instagram, uh, Discord, whatever. Definitely the easiest way to reach us is Instagram. If you are dealing with anything, any sort of struggle, we are here for you. And uh, we couldn't love you guys so, we couldn't love you guys more. You guys mean so, so much to us. And uh, uh, we're so grateful that this podcast and us and our little thing we do means something to you. Yeah. I couldn't, said, I couldn't have said it better. This yes. is why we do it. Yeah. Um, uh, thank so, you for reading that. To end off the episode, I thought we'd do this. I like the last shit. 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 I, like shit I you screw you. <laughs>